Over the past couple of months, we've seen VGC get a lot of attention. It is Pokemon's very like official tournament style. The video game championships are like in you know, the TCG, obviously. And we've seen that get a lot of attention from people battling, putting videos up, people talking about what regional they're going to, and people having their team ready for their regional and which is really great to see for the pokemon community it has grown exponentially from last year to this year with the main releases of x and y and obviously omega ruby alpha sapphire and we saw this past world seiju park winning worlds with pachirisu and other you know great pokemon and we see a lot of the vgc veterans that have been there for a while they're you know still in the scene they're giving more advice to people and people are liking that and i'm really happy to see all that and I really feel like maybe I this is a chance for me to give a bit of advice for anybody that has not been to a Pokemon regional. I, yes, I have myself never been to one, but I can tell you I've been to many, many regionals for Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, if you guys are, you probably, everybody knows Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't have to explain it. But the Yu-Gi-Oh regional, I would have to assume, is a bit similar to the Pokemon regionals. I know it's a different game, but I would have to say the atmosphere is the same. The environment is the same the way this the tournament style is set up at least on a basis of just you know rounds and how many you know the matches and things like that so i feel like i can give you guys a bit a few tips a little advice and you know things to expect while you're there at least if we start back before what you have to prepare everybody knows you got to have your, your team ready same thing for me i had to have whatever deck was gonna i was gonna bring like, I had to know that deck inside out. All the 40 cards I had in my, you know, you had an extra deck. You had, you know, your extra deck, um, side deck, things like that. There are a lot of things to prepare for. You had to be prepared for what decks you were going to see. Same thing with what teams you're going to see for Pokemon. So I had a really good two months to figure out what I was going to bring. I was like, okay, I'm going to bring this. This is it. This is what I got. I practice it. I won one tournament on a local. Be like, okay, I think I feel good about this. So same thing for you. Try to practice at least, you know, 30 to an hour, you know, 30 minutes to an hour a day on like, okay, I got this team set up. I know what I'm going to see. I have a good idea of what my counters are. I have this to counter this. So you guys already know uh, what to uh, bring before you go there. At least just be ready with your team and have an open mind okay I, I just got everything and just have a, a really cool calm collected just uh feeling there now when you get to the tournament don't be overwhelmed by the amount of people there uh people that have probably never even been to like a regular tournament with like 10 to 20 people and that just just stay home all day just staying and uh you know, just playing on their own time on Battle Spot, that's fine. But when you get to a Pokemon regional, I have to imagine there will be a few hundred people. I wouldn't have to imagine anywhere over uh, 800, maybe a little bit less than that, because I've seen some of Pokemon regionals. There's quite a bit of people there from the VGC, the video game, and the TCG side. So there will be a lot of people there, but don't be overwhelmed. I know there are those competitors that are out there to win like you are just the same. But everybody's going to be nice and everything's going to be just fine. Me, myself, I've been to at least five other regionals and they only got bigger every time I went. Every few months there's a regional or every few years, I it just I saw more people. There was one uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! It, went, it wasn't a regional, it's called the YCS. That had at least a thousand people it entered in one tournament and maybe even more that were just there to watch and spectate so there will be a lot of people but the best advice just don't be overwhelmed there will be a lot of people yes but we're all there to have fun we're all there to just meet, meet new people play the same game we all know and love so just be ready to meet a lot of people it, it will be a great experience for you guys the next thing uh i would have to say is don't really just give up after like the first round and don't give up on a loss i know that's a little bit simple for me to say but uh it will matter because who knows you might lose the first round but there's chances you can win every other round after that like i said if you are prepared and anything might happen over like whatever factors that come in for you to lose the game whether it be luck or you making some bad plays the same thing will happen in Yu-Gi-Oh you always have to just know what they're going to do before you but yeah there is a luck based thing on whatever they draw and yes you will have to recollect after that first match be like, okay what did I miss in this game like game two what did I do wrong you always have to go back in each in between each round I would have to imagine in Pokemon like Yu-Gi-Oh there is about 30 to 40 minutes 
before uh, each round starts. So you do have a little bit of time for you to check out the last game you did and just you know collect yourself and get in. Another don't I would have to throw in. Uh, it's a bit also uh, I would have to imagine. Um, just you guys already know this. It just please for people that are out there just try not to start fights with anybody. I would have to imagine or at least um, not try to just you know just meet new people and be nice. You know I've I've had people in, in the Yu-Gi-Oh scene in that community. A lot of people start fights over some really crazy reasons, and even in high-level regionals, people were in the parking lot fighting. It's a crazy thing for me to say yes, but I know that wouldn't happen, in Pokemon. But just try not to, you know, rub anybody off the wrong way or just try to give off a wrong impression. We're all there to play Pokemon and have fun. And the great thing is just meeting new people. But as I said before, who knows uh, how other people react to things you say. So it's always great to just be nice and just not act and don't don't act any like, you know, too cocky or anything like that. It brings me to my next point is say if you are coming off from a you know i guess a, a little like local tournament and you won and you've been beating all your friends with the team you got it's good to have confidence i get that but to have a humongous chip on your shoulder that's something else uh to me it's great to just come in okay i think i can you know if i do a great job if i don't make any mistakes if i know what i got i got a good plan if i just stay focused and everything and i i could win that's great that's a, a good amount of confidence but there are some people that come in, oh yeah, I, I'm, I, I, I'm going to win. I know, everybody sucks. Nobody I know here that can beat me, I got this. You know, So anything, any two cockiness, anything like that, that's nothing good. You at least come in, at least with a good amount of confidence, but not, not too much on just any kind of stuck up, like stubborn, anything cocky. Don't, don't be like that because we all know what might happen. You might end up losing a few matches and you just blame it on something else you blame everybody by yourself we all know to not do that so that's one other thing to keep in mind during the match one other bit of advice i've been given to by actual pros in Yu-Gi-Oh, and they always tell me when you're in the duel in the heat of the moment think out every play you can do in at least 30 seconds it's a great way to practice at least when you're at home practicing try to just think out every little thing from whatever, like, okay, like, I got the damage calcs in my mind, like, if I switch and do this move, or at least try to think out a few moves ahead, because there will be those high-level pros in VGC that are thinking at least a few turns ahead on how everything's going to happen. If they predict you, and you're not predicting them, you're automatically behind, and who knows, you might even lose. But the best advice I can give during the po Pokemon battle, like I did in Yu-Gi-Oh!, I would always have to think out every single play. And I had it written down on a piece of paper right by the mat I had on my Yu-Gi-Oh! mat. I would just be like, it just says, think out every play. And I would have to think, okay, this is my hand. My graveyard's right there. I got my extra deck over here. Um, with this draw, who knows what's going to happen. I could take this card and search out this, blah, blah, blah. You know, we all know how Yu-Gi-Oh! might turn out. So just always try to think out everything you can do. It's like, what if I switch out this Pokemon, bring in this, and then what if I, he does this? Try to play in their hand and always try to think of things you could take away from the opponent. I've mentioned many of the VGC tips on during the battle, but always one best thing of advice is just think out everything you can do. Because that's I've been told by actual Yu-Gi-Oh! pros, like, just always... Think out everything you can do. You got a few minutes to do. I know in you Pokemon, you have less time than in Yu-Gi-Oh. But still, if you practice yourself enough and you just adapt to everything in every situation, it will be easier than you think. And you will be surprised. You could come back and just adapt to every game. And like you lose the first game, you can still win the next two and then win the round eventually. Now coming in through every different round. Always try to be on time. That's something you will have to get used to. How there will be, like I said, a few hundred people. And there's always going to be a few boards out from Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know how Pokemon is, obviously. But in Yu-Gi-Oh, there'll be a few boards with like pieces of paper. And it'll say, okay, that's your opponent. You know, that's the table you got to go to. And then, you know, you got to go to the table. And you got to be there and make sure, okay, that's your name. And you, before the battle, you, you know, just sign a paper. Say, okay. And uh, you say good luck, and you know that there you go, and then the battle starts. But there have been some times where people they don't show up to the table, and then you're waiting a few minutes. So that would co definitely cost you a loss if you don't show up and they have free win for the guy there. And I've actually been in some regions where, round maybe the fifth round, those people just left and they never told any judges and never told anybody that they dropped out of tournament. At least, if you will drop, at least say you're dropping. And I've had to sit there for 10 minutes and then. A judge came up, okay, uh, you win the game. And I'm like, okay, it was a free battle. But still, 
always at least you know be attentive during the tournament overall you know just know what's going on know what round everything's in as i said you will have some time in between the rounds but always just try to go through you know you just be ready you know you're there to win and then you just always got to show up every time i guess to kind of wrap this thing up um just try to at least have a bit of fun i know that is something everybody said in the past all the time but uh can't be more true and more just right on, on, on everything it, like i said just don't be too cocky don't have um don't ever have, have any chip on your shoulder or anything like that just come in have a clear mind you know at least a passion for the game like okay i, I know i can do this i have a great feeling today at least have that you know just good mindset you have, always got to have a great mindset and if you do you have a greater chance of winning it would be great to win a regional i know having high expectations would be great but say you're going to win the whole thing beforehand might be a bit too high if it's your first time even for me i'll be might be going to my first one really soon and who knows where i'll place so it would be great to win obviously but we don't know how the matches are going to turn out and who i'll be playing so it does more towards the end of whatever table you're at in Yu-Gi-Oh, if the higher table you're at, that like that you're like the top one there. If like you're at the first table, those are the two best people playing at the whatever table you're at, and obviously going down. So towards the end, if you're undefeated in the last round, the other guy might be undefeated too. So there you go, and, and one loss could break your whole streak, could break your whole mentality. So always at least come in knowing you're going to have fun. It would be great to expect to win. It would also would be fine just to exp just to have fun. That's fine. Just come in and say, I'm just gonna. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to meet new people, have a great time, and everything. The last bit of advice I can give you guys: be be prepared for a long day. Uh, I've been at some Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. I got there at eight in the morning, and I didn't leave till about midnight. And it was it was quite a long day. Yes, you do have time to eat, and you know you will just have a lot of time to you know chat around with, meet new people hang out with some friends play the game we're all here to love but you will be there for quite a long time so just be prepared for a long day and try not to let it you know you know take a deal on your, a good deal on your body and some of the uh people that have been to a lot of regionals they know okay it's like i'm ready to just i know what time to get there and i don't care when i leave and it'll be good for the next time and they're there the whole day i've seen some people at other tournaments by around 6 p.m they're passed out somewhere at a ho on the hotel floor because those hell out of it's it's pretty crazy so just be prepared for kind of a long day so that's the last thing of, bit of advice i can give you um i can link for you guys uh locations where the vgc regionals are down below and uh, a lot of other good tips i found on nuggetbridge.com which is a really good vgc site learning about vgc they'll teach you a lot of first timer things so i can link that for you anything i didn't mention but the purpose of this video is just for me to tell you well i've been to actual regionals it wasn't pokemon bit but i've been to regional events that were kind of similar and just a few bit of things that you guys can take away from this uh, i just hope you guys like it found it interesting and everything and if you guys will be at the Kissimmee regional i believe in on february 28th it's in orlando i will be there you guys can definitely hit me up um, say hi. I don't know. Well, I, I know I'm not that big of a guy, and uh, I know if even one person comes up to me and says hi, that would make my day. But all I can say to end this whole thing, just good luck, have fun, may the best man win, and time to play some VGC Pokemon, guys.